Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to another episode of Pencil Puzzles. Today we are playing another Jigsaw Sudoku from Simon Tatum's app. The difference this time we are adding an extra constraint, which is the X constraint, which basically means along the diagonals we can only have a number once. So if we look at this uh, diagonal from top right to bottom left, for example, we have got a 7, 6, 4, and 9. So we know that they can't go on this diagonal in any of these other places. It can go on the other diagonal, but it can only appear on the diagonal lines once. So without further ado, let's start the timer and away we go. Okay, so um, I can instantly see something, which is quite nice because I, I've done a couple of these now and you don't always see something, but the one here is quite powerful given that it's connected to all of these eight cells here apart from here. So that one there means that we have to place a one here because it's the only way on this middle row that a one can feature. So again, the ones are quite powerful because we can actually place a one on this diagonal as well. So one is blocked from that diagonal and that diagonal. Can't go there because of this one and this one. And this one also sees that. So we can place a one on the diagonal there. Now, one thing to note about these um, cross Sudokus as well, we've got this cross restraint, is that the middle number is a number that won't appear anywhere else on the diagonal because there is obviously only nine digits. So this number is the same number for both of the uh, diagonals. And we already know that it's not going to be a one, two, could be a three, could be a four, threes and fours. Uh, can't be a five, can't be a six, can't be a seven, can't be an eight, and can't be a nine. So it's either a three or a four in this central box here. Okay, so what else can we take from here? We can pencil some sevens in here. Sevens. Okay, sevens have got to go either here, here, or here on this diagonal because of this seven, this seven. And that we've already got seven on that. Not that that really influences the um, thing there. Place a nine there because it sees both this nine and this nine here, which rules out of these three diagonals here. And what else? It says. A lot of possibilities for sixes. What other numbers have we got here? Two, it's, it's a two, three, and a four. We know a four can't go there, so that's got to be a three or a two. This can't be a two, so that's a three and a four. There's another number though, isn't there? I've missed a number. What's the number I've missed? It's a five. Well, fives can't go there or there. Oh, let's uh, do that. Fives can't go there. Fives can't go there. Five is there or there. There could be two, three, or four. Okay, I don't really think that helps us too much. So I'm going to remove those for the time being. Really look carefully. Sevens are here and here. Six, six, six. Shame we haven't got something to limit that. I just could have limited the six to there or there. Who's um a ones, 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 ones. This is the only place for a one. Use this one and this one. Can't go there. One could go there. One is either here or here in that column. An extra space in that column. Can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. So the one has to go here. 
because it's the only place on the diagonal that the one can go. As we look here, it sees this one. These two affect these cells here. One sees this one, this one, and this box has already got a one. So yeah, that's the only place a one can go within that cell. So that might limit us further to that a one has to go at the top because this block's got a one, can't go there. This block's got a one, this block's got a one. Then we can look at here. This becomes a one. All the other cells see a one. That leaves with one left to place, which is going to be here. That's all our ones placed. We'll try to um, forget about the ones now, although it's easier said than done. And next number we're going to focus our attention on is what? Pause. Pause are restricted to two places here in this block. And so we could go there, there, or there. can go in three places as well. It's sevens. Seven has to go seven has to go here. Because see this seven in looking at the row this and this are part of this block, so it's got a seven. This is part of this block, which has a seven. This block cell sees this seven, and we've already got a seven on the diagonal. That has to be a seven. That rules a seven out from there. We can place a seven in that cell. Two, two's to do two twos. Two, three, five, and eight. It can't go there or there. We've got one on the diagonal, so this becomes an eight. Eight there, eight there, and eight on diagonal. Yep. Okay. That works. One. Got two. Two, three, and five are our last in that block there, but we don't really know enough about that. Two's, we know a two is either there or there. Look at this row here, maybe. Can we tell anything from what we've got here? And we need a two, two, three, four, five. I can't go there. That's all we really know about the fives. Four can't go there. Four can go in any one of these cells here, though. So, yeah, we don't really know enough at the minute about those. We know that a two has to go at the top, however. So that rules out a two from there. This makes this a two or this a two. And Okay, um, let's think. Also, we've got twos are taken up here. So two's got to go here, here, right here somewhere. There was an eight. Two and eights are in here. Are there any other numbers that I can see? Right there or there. I need to place a six in there. Six has got to go central in here. Six has got to go in there. Actually, a six has to go here or here. 
So it can't have a six here. So where can we place a six in this box? It's going to be here or here. It's the only places for a six. Um, that in here. This is the only place for a six. Can't go in here. We've already identified that three and four is there, so we already know that six there. Yeah, that's the only place for that. So what have we got here? Three, four, and nine. Three, four, nine, and that's gotta be a four or a nine. Anywhere else? Where have we got sixes everywhere else? No, okay, so we've still not got sixes. Six has to go here. If a six has to go there, we have to place a six here. When this box here, a six would go at the top. Now that's interesting because we now know a six has to go here because we have to place a six on this diagonal. And all of the other diagonal cells see a six. That's a six, and that becomes a six, meaning that's a seven. And that means we're going to have a seven here or here. Hoping my reasoning and everything holds up. Won't know till a bit later, which is quite worrying. Threes. I don't know enough there about anything. Um. Where do we go from here, though? There and there. This is a seven or a seven here. So that places sevens. That will place seven here, 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 here. This will become a seven. By logic, that's the only, once we've placed these two, because these are the only two possible locations for these sevens, if that's seven, that's seven, and vice versa, then with everything else filled out, that is the only place in that cell that can be a seven. So where are we missing sevens? Is it just these two boxes? It is. All right. Now, do we need any sevens on a diagonal? And the answer is yes. We've got a seven here, but we need a seven on this diagonal. So therefore, that becomes a seven, and that becomes a seven. Okay, more movement. Forget about the ones, we can forget about the sevens, we can forget about sixes. We got here four, four, eight, nine. Four, well, four, eight, nine is gonna leave a three here. Okay, that means one of these has to be a three. Four and eight, four, eight, nine, four, eight, nine. One of these is a nine. Sort nine, please. Nine could be there or there. Any one of those cells. Can we make anything more of the twos? No, we still don't have a lot of twos, do we? Can't really limit twos that much at the minute. You know that two has got to be here, here, or here in this top row. That's about it. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, oh no, sorry. I thought I'd miss. I thought I'd seen this as like one big block, but it's not a block. Sorry, I've. We get it. Let's carry on. We need to panic, Mr. Mannerin. Who's seven? Just looking for like a number that I don't have anywhere. We 
we know a nine has got to go here or here. That rolls that out on a diagonal. Could be there. It rolls those two. Okay, so nine is there or there on the diagonal. Maybe we should be paying more attention to these diagonals. Now three, four there is definitely going to unlock quite a bit. Let me check and see if I've placed any other digits. Four can't go there. Four can't go there. And if it's there, it will be there or there. Eights. Don't have enough restrictions on the eights, but we know it's in this top box here. We identify what is in that top box. One, see a two. No eight and two is in there. One, two, that could be a three, four, five. Two and eight are definitely in here. Let's look at this row twos. I need to place a two on that diagonal. So two can't go there. But it can go there, there, pretty much anywhere else on this diagonal. Two, four, two, three, four, five. Three, five, eight. Huh. We know a nine's got to go in this box, and that can't be a nine. This could be a nine. I think we've already looked at this somewhere. Yeah, and that or that was going to be the nine. One's restricted anywhere, not enough. Freeze. Pause. Eights are actually quite rest are restricted to that row there. Okay. That means we'll have an eight. Way around here. I mean, it just—I think that just tells us though, that we need to put an eight in this top box here, which we already knew. Anyway, so I don't think that really helped me too much. Twos, threes, fours, two, three, four, eight, nine. Eight, nine, two, three, four. Let's see the four, those see a four, fours in yeah, one of these three cells here. <laughs> Three. 
three can't be there. There are there. There's just like so many, so many like possibilities. These are tough. These jigsaw ones are really tough, unless there's like some easier way of um, probably identify the. Could I identify two digits here? Two, three, five, eight. That can't be an eight. That can't be an eight. Okay, so that's an eight, and that's a four. No. no. Eight has to go here. Two, four, two, three. Well, I mean, it would be, it would be easier if obviously that wasn't, this was connected. That's what like, ruins. I wouldn't say ruin, but that what make that's this is what makes it difficult. I don't think why rule two out there, but yeah, that, that definitely can't be a two. No, a two's got to go here. Oh, two and eight. So four, three, five. This becomes a three, four. Three, four, five, eight. No twos and eights have to go here, and then it's either a three or a five that pairs with it, and then here is a three or a five. Three can't go there. Could go there. Could go there. And as for fives, fives are even more unrestricted. Hmm. That was a nine, that'd be a four, that'd be a three. Three, nine. Well, having a nine, the nine in here isn't really a helpful nine. One. Two. I think the only two numbers two five on the dot. Can't be a five, can't be six. Eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, we just maybe if we could just like disambiguate at three and fours in some way. That would be a, a real help. Okay, eights. Mm. 
that now can't be an eight. This means this is the only place an eight can go. Because the eight's rolled out from there, 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 and there. So yeah, an eight can only go there or there. And that can't be an eight. Actually, this this has to be an eight. Which leads to the three, four, five triple. Okay. Something. What other numbers have we got? A two and a nine. Four can't go there, neither can a three. So that is a two or a nine. Three, four. Three, four. Okay. Still stuck with this bit here again. There, there are the only places nines can go on that diagonal. No an eight's got to go in here. We'll rule out any eights anywhere else. Eights are there. No. Or well, we can rule out an eight there on the diagonal. That leaves eights there, there, or there. Three positions, likewise in here. Eights are ruled out there, but the eight could be on the diagonal here. But again, it's just going to be. I wasn't even the box I was looking at, I was looking at here. No, it can't be there. So we've got even more possibilities here. Eights. It's going to be uh, an extended bumper video today, guys. So uh, you're, uh, hope you're ready for it. It's going to be a two or a five. Can't be a three. This is going to be a two, three, or a five. Two, three, four. Can't be a five because it sees this five here. Yeah, two, three, four, five. That's not right at all, though, because we haven't placed a nine there. I was just checking through the nines, thinking, okay, maybe we can do something with the nines. But nine, yeah, we haven't taken into account the nines. So we just know a nine can't go. Nine has to be here or here. We can say, though. Two, three, nine. Two, three, five, nine. And here we can have two, three, four, five.
Just sit here and make noises in the hope that that uh, solves the puzzle. Eight. All right, this is an eight. This is an eight. Maybe that did help a little bit because we can't put an eight here. We've already identified candidates for that. Um, we can't place an eight here because it's already on this. Uh, I could go there. Can't go there. Okay, can't go there. I got excited for a minute and thought I'd seen something. Nine. Nine can only go here. The reason that can only be a nine is that can't be a nine. And we already said this has to be a nine or a nine here. And that means we can't be there or there. We've got nine on diagonals. So that has to be a nine. Okay. That's a nine. Now, that is very powerful. That nine is basically saying this has to be a nine. And the reason that has to be a nine is because it blocks. These three diagonals are blocked off by this nine. This one now sees this. This one now sees this. So the only place left in the diagonal is there to place the nine. That was a very powerful placement indeed. That means that's a four, that's a three, and that's a nine. So now we know nine is the three is not repeated anywhere else on this diagram. So we can take out a three from here and here. Anywhere else we had a three? I don't think so. Not on the diagonal. Okay. So now we've disambiguated that. We need to look for locations where we can place a four on a diagonal. So that was the two numbers, weren't, weren't they? It was a three and a four. So left on this diagonal is a two, five, and a four. So this becomes a four or a two. This becomes a five or a four. Not a lot else though from that at the minute. Two. Oh, I got two there. We couldn't never have a two there. Three, four, five, two. This could be a five though. What's the okay? So our numbers left here are three, three, four, five, and eight. So that could be a four, five, three, four. We know three is not going to go there, so that's going to force a three into here. Leaving us with a four five pair there. Okay. Eight's a scene there. Eight's a scene there. Eight's got to be in there. Do we have an eight on the diagonal already? No, but an eight can't go there. An eight can't go there. It could still go there though. I need to really reevaluate like all of my the pencil markings again now. I think because we've made quite a few discoveries along the way. Check threes. Three can't sit on the line. That could so threes are here and here. Threes are here and here. Threes have to sit in this block here. Rule out a three from there and there and there. Uh, no, three could still be in there. Sorry. Just this block we're ruling it out from. Three. 
Two, four, five. Window, please. Three, two, four. Surely we're going to have a digit in a minute, which is unique. That was a three. That would be a three. No, that, those, no, that was a three, that can't be a three. If that was a three, that would be a three. Um, come on, stay focused, Knock. We're not, we're not too far. I think we've got too far to go. Two, four, five, eight. That's got to be two or a five. What's the other digit here is a three. No, that can't be a three. That can't be a four. So that's an eight or a five. That can't be a nine. This is where I said, you know, we really need to readdress these pencil markings. So C's a two, C's a nine. So that is a two. That's a five. That's a three. That's a two. Becomes a four nine. This becomes an right. I don't know if like control and zero. Five. There we go. Uh, right. So this is an eight. Takes out an eight from there, and so an eight has to be there or there. Fours and nines. Still nothing on the fours and nines. Fives. And still nothing on the four and the five that I can see. And two, three, four, five, eight. Two, no, two, close to unwinding the threes. So we've got only here or here is where a three can go. Nines, okay, let's look at nines. Nines can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. This becomes a nine. That becomes a four eight pair. With that four eight pair, that means this has to be a two. That's a nine. And that's a three. That's a four. This becomes a two. Okay. Things are happening. This is where I'm getting very nervous though, because this is sort of make or break time. Have we placed the right digits? Why can't that be a four? It can be a four. That would become three. Fives and eights. Eight. Five, eight, two, no red marks yet. I'm keeping everything crossed. But I've managed to stay on this puzzle and track it. Fives, two, that's the only number left there. Four is the only number left there. Five and four, nine and four, four and eight, five, 
eight, two, four, and eight. Okay, we're almost there. We're wrapping up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We did it. Holy smokes. These puzzles are a real challenge for sure. Well, there we go. 40 minutes and we managed to solve this one. Um, let me know what you think of this one, guys, if you'd like to see me um, play more of these. I think definitely it's going to have to be a longer video when we look at these because they are certainly a lot harder. But um, yeah, it takes a while to get going. But once you start to look at things, you do start to find a bit of room. I do feel like you have to pencil mark a little bit more in this one than you would a regular uh, killer or a regular Sudoku. So, um, but yeah, if you've got any suggestions, feedback, any tactics at all, uh, how I may be able to improve the game, please do let me know in the comments below. But until next time, I've been Ock, you've been awesome. Take care, stay safe, happy gaming.